Being an entrepreneur and leading a company is also about mastering the basic tools and methods of business administration. This video is about budgeting and the 11 steps to complete budgeting. Watch it until the end so that you understand how to create your professional budget. Hey, my name is Armin Al Rao. I'm the founder of A. Leonard Rao, the entrepreneur's entrepreneur. And I'd like to help you to become a great leader. In my videos, I share my 25 years of experience as a leader, coach and entrepreneur with you. So watch this video until the end that we can learn today about budgeting because that is, this, is what this video is about. I have defined 11 steps to budgeting and that is very, very important, not only for your business plan, but also for your yearly budget. And it's important to control the budget regularly. Now, step number one is actually you want to know how much you are willing or how much you think you can make in sales. Now, that is the first line, the so-called top line. You calculate the revenue and the turnover. Here, the step number one is you must know what you sell, uh, to whom, where and how. And uh, you must also know how many units in the fiscal year you would like to sell either in terms of real units, material units, or let's say hours of consulting. It can be tangible and intangible. And you need, the you need to know the price per unit. And then you need to multiply the units with the price, the plant units per year with the price, and you're getting your net turnover. Step number two is to, to, is to, is to determine the uh, direct uh, cost and the gross profit. Um, you will have to know if you're producing something, how much raw material do I need to produce that and uh, what are the re human res resources needed to directly produce my product. So you, um, hence you generate uh, what we call the direct cost. And if you then subtract, subtract the um, direct cost from your turnover, you will receive the gross profit. The gross profit is a very, very important figure for you because it tells you how much sales, general and administration, how much overhead you can actually afford in your budget. And you would have to trim uh, this part, which I'm going to talk about now, to your gross profit. Well, at the end of the day, to make a net profit. Step number three of the budgeting process or the block number three is to calculate this block of sales general and administration. So here you ask yourself how many people um, and technology um, you need to market your uh, products and services. You ask yourself um, what do you need to sell your uh, products? How much does that cost? And that is your marketing and sales expenses. A second block of sales general and administration is that you add your um, production facilities uh, to uh, that cost. Um, here you've got a difference between the cash flow and the profit and loss account. In the cash flow, you take the full cost for the year, the profit and loss account only the uh, depreciation. But you need to know uh, that um, cost in order to, to, to know how much money you need to build up your production facilities. Then in sales general and administration, you add other costs like um, uh, office space, like uh, maybe an assistant, um, HR costs uh, for an HR department, etc., etc. Et et That's an additional block. And you also add your salaries of the general management. And if you take all these things together, the production facilities, the office space, the salaries of people who do sell or market or, or support the business who are not directly involved in the production of your services. Uh, if you've got that cost, all these together, this is what we call sales general administration or overhead. You, subtra you subtract the total expenses, the total sales general um, and administration from your gross profit and that will give you your net profit. And then you see, you know, how much can I afford? And then you can, you know, tweak, tweak it and, and, and play around with it and see where you can actually uh, make it, opti optimize it and, and you know, come to, come to the best budget that, 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 that you have. And in your business plan, you will do this with a cash flow statement over, let's say, three years. 
and uh, calculate a net present value for your investors. Well, that's very much in the beginning, but also, you know, for, uh, uh, for growth capital, a s situation where you are when you're growing with the company, when you've already got an established business, obviously that is very important. Now, as a conclusion, if you want to be a great manager of a startup and a great leader, you also have to understand the basic tools of business administration. Budgeting is one of them. You might have people who help you, but you must understand it at least. In the very beginning, you will probably do it most on your own, but you should always have an eye on it and control it from beginning to end. Never let your budget be something that is somewhere in third hands and you are not taking care of it. Don't do that. Take, keep your budget under control. The LIFE program actually teaches you these basic tools and methods of business administration for entrepreneurs within weeks. Now, if you would like me to help you with the specific challenge that you have right now in this area, just click on the button, on the link, sorry, not on the button, cl click on the link underneath this video where you can apply for a free consulting session with me. It's completely free, there's no obligation. Um, and uh, then I will help you to solve a specific problem in the arena of management or leadership for entrepreneurs. I'm looking forward to hearing from you. This was Armin L. Rao from Elan Rao, the Entrepreneur's Entrepreneur. And don't forget, lead yourself.